Hi guys. The mid-year freak out tag. Hi guys. Hola, hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Hoy estamos haciendo la ética freak out de mitad de año. The mid-year freak out tag. If you don't already know, this is part two to the tag because if you want to really know all the books I read that are going into this video, you would have to have watched the video before, which is me wrapping up the first six months of reading, which is featured. But since I am filming this video in July, it's July 17th. Yes, it is July 17th. I'm going to count the four books I have read since that video. Those books would be A Good Marriage by Kimberly McCrate, which I gave a four star. The Best Men by... Serena Bowen and Lauren Blakely, which I gave a 2.75. The Wallflower Wager, which I gave a 3.25. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, which I gave a 4.98. There is 294 tabs in this book. I counted. So now our total reading that we are reviewing and picking the best of are 43 books. So I've read 43 books so far this year. And let's get started. The video freak out. Make sure to like this video and subscribe down below and turn the bell notification so you know every single time I post. I love you all. Let's go. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to tell you guys my average rating for the year so far, including the four books I just told you. My average rating is now a 4.2. So good good reading year so far i had really good highs but every single three star one star and 2.75 irks me just as much so the first question of the tag is what is my favorite book of the year so far so this is a hard question i'm gonna go it's so it's so interesting because i've literally i have multiple five stars but the book i gave a 4.98 is my favorite book of the year if you don't know the story behind this book is that this is the book i've been reading since january it was it was my i think one of my it was in my top five, top three, top one last year for 2021. It was featured in my tier ranking every book I read last year. So go watch that one. I'm going to be doing another one this year. And this book is going to be my favorite. I have been annotating this book since January. And I just finished this. Is, I just finished my reread. I just finished my annotation. So this is probably going to go in tandem for what's my favorite reread of the year this literally at the brink of crying i do have the second copy however i kept it in my college storage so like when i go back to howard i go to howard university when i go back to howard it will be the first thing i read one of the first things i read i was like you know what just focus on reading this and don't focus on anything else but i wish i had brought the other book so i could start reading it this is everything to me. Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. I'm so happy that there's a movie. I'm so excited for it. I'm so happy that Lynn Manuel Miranda is producing it because I love Mr. Lynn. This is my favorite book of the year so far, for sure. Aristotle and Dante. Favorite sequel of the year. I have read many a series. I've read the Maid series. I've read Born in Blood Mafia Chronicles. I've read the Off Campus series. So of the Off Campus series, the sequel of the Off Campus is The Mistake. And I did not like The Mistake. I gave The Mistake a, a 3.5. I gave The Deal a 4 and I gave The Mistake a 3.5. So obviously it wasn't a fave. Uh, the second book in the Born in Blood series, I gave a 3. In the Maid series though, I gave The Maddest Obsession, I gave a 5 star. So I'd say that could be a contender. Another contender would be The Viscount Who Loved Me, but I feel like I can't count it because I did not read the first book. So I'm going to say The Maddest Obsession. I don't know if Editing Denial will have a different conception if she's able to think about the question more, but I think me right now, The Maddest Obsession is a really good sequel. Favorite reread of the year. I've only reread two books this year. That's The Viscount Who Loved Me. I mentioned this in the video before, but when I read The Viscount Who Loved Me, I finished it at 4 a.m. I immediately restarted it at 7 a.m. I loved the book so much. It was so good. Immediate five star and one of my top books of the year. But I also did reread this, you know? And when I reread The Black Count Who Loved Me, I bumped it down to a four. And when I reread this, I bumped it down 0.2. So I'm gonna say this is my favorite reread and I'll explain why I bumped it down 0.2. Right before I had finished the book, I decided to go down the Aristotle and Dante hashtag on TikTok. Love you guys. And on the TikTok, I saw someone dislike said book i was like there's someone who doesn't like this book and they were like the coming out scene is so bad his mom literally goes you're gay and he's like yeah yeah i'm gay and i'm like why do i not remember that at all so then the scene comes and it's not like the person's described i'm pretty sure they were just saying it in like general like just trying to sum up the scene in the context of the book and the nuance and the conversation of being mexican boys 
trying so hard to win the war between what it means to be a man like the fact that everything that Ari deals with as a human being stems from his family Ari truly was gonna live his life being in compulsory heterosexual relationships with women because he was so scared and running from who he who he is as a gay person truly if his parents did not come out and say dude this is who you are we've noticed it and we're okay i don't think he would have ever told himself i really do wish it would have been him like having to go through this internalized fo homophobia that he has for himself and come out on the other side of it but it didn't happen that way and that's just the way the character's written sadly so i took away point two because I get why people have problems with this coming out scene, but I truly do think I wouldn't change it in that way. That's it. That's the reason why it's down to point two. Because this book is still everything to me, and I'm still making the movie my Joker, but I get the criticism with the book in that way. So yeah. But this is still my favorite reread of the year. Mwah, I love you. A new release you haven't read yet or want to. Oh my gosh. What would it be? I have no idea. <laughs> Can that be the answer? I have no idea. A new release I haven't read yet, but I want to. A lot of the new releases I'm looking at have been thriller books, like thriller and horror. Like I want to read Just Like Home and Stay Awake, but I don't know if there's like a new release that has come out that I haven't yet got to. That's a good segue for question number five. How has your reading changed slash what genre do you feel yourself getting more into? Which to me is horror and thrillers. I noticed my biggest genre change in this. Immediately reading this, I gave it a four. And then after reflection and after um, seeing Books and Lala's review where she gave it a five star, I was like, yeah, I feel the exact same way, but I just can't give it a five. And it's because I know that if I would have read this in high school or middle school, I this would have been everything to me. Like, this would have been my Joker. Like, I don't know why I'm only comparing these to Joker. I've been on Twitter too much. But it makes me so sad. I got this book and I put this book in the video that I'm reading it for because of how much I was like, oh my gosh, I know I'm going to love it. And then I read it and I loved it. But it made me realize that I'm kind of moving away from young adult in that way. So it makes me really sad. So that's, I'm getting more into thrillers and horrors and new adult. But... I'm sad that the YA contemporary romances aren't like having the hug pool tug, but they do because she's a runner, she's a track star. A book that made me laugh slash happy, I would actually say these two made me laugh the most out of any of the books I read this year, I think. None of these books are comedy, but the main characters, Mabel and Audrey, are so freaking funny and such a joy to read from. They're amazing. Ari and his family and just like the Quintanas, like they're so, oh my book fell. They're also so much fun, like their banter. So those are books that have been making me laugh, but I wouldn't say like I was busting like every other scene, like every other scene was really, really funny. I would say another book, a book that I've been reading and I'm gonna keep reading throughout the year that is really making me laugh is This Book is Gay. This book is hilarious. Um, so yeah, I would say this is also a book, an option for that question. If you can't tell, it is also getting dark. <laughs> so, did I know I was gonna make this video, get ready at 1 o'clock, and was like, yes, let's make it, and wait until 8.04, and sunsets at like 8.20? Yes, I did. But I'm actually gonna troubleshoot by putting on my ring light. A book that made me cry. I would say my bent up copy of the Song of Achilles is going to be nominated for this one. So the next question is an anticipated release for the second half of the year. Amari and the Night Brothers number two. I don't know what it's called, but number two of Amari and the Night Brothers is an anticipated release. Stay Awake, Megan Golden, Need It. I read The Night Swim by her and it was amazing. Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. We all know. Shout out to my Taylor Jenkins Reid reading vlog. My biggest disappointment of the year is going to go to Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. It was a one star. And I mentioned this in my last video. I truly thought I was going to like it. And that's probably because my biggest surprise of the year, I'm going to answer that question now, was Conversation with Friends by Sally Rooney. And Conversation with Friends by Sally Rooney is based off an affair. So I was like, oh, okay, you know what? I actually liked that book about an affair. Let me see if I like this one. Absolutely not. I hated them the whole time. In my Goodreads review for Maybe Someday, I said, ella es una hipocrita. And I really do think that's Colleen Hoover's fault 
Because why would you make a cheating book about a girl who just got cheated on helping someone else cheat on their girlfriend? Like, there was just no way I was going to stand for that. There was no way. She didn't want me to like the book. I swear she did it. Because why? 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 And what really hurt me was Ridge. Oh, I hated Ridge with my whole heart. Ridge going two halves of my heart. What? What, you nasty man? Oh my God, I wanted to strangle him. If a man ever said some dumb shit like that to me, it's one thing for you to cheat. It's another thing for you to justify the whole way through. I was like, Colleen, do you like them? Do you think these people are good? I was like, Colleen, are you sure this is your contribution to society? It's my first ever Colleen Hoover. I was like, no way. No way, but it was a way. In fact, there was a sequel. I wish nothing but bad things on <laughs> on Ridge and Sydney. The next question, which is my biggest surprise of the year, which I just gave away, Conversation with Friends by Sally Rooney. What a great book. A five star. I was actually so freaking angry when I found out it was better than normal people because I read normal people, I gave it four stars. My friend Jane, she gave it five, like she loves that book. And she was like, oh, I just read Conversation with Friends. It's okay, it's not better than normal people though. And then everybody on the internet was like, yeah, it's not better than normal people. Girl, I think five stars. Please, please stop with the Conversation with Friends slander. Now if we're gonna slander the show, normal people the show versus Conversation with Friends the show? Ah! The show normal people is so excellent. 12 out of 10. I love the show. The book, a four out of five. To me, I just, wow, I loved conversation with friends. We should chat later. New favorite author, new to you, or new in general? I'm definitely gonna say Song of Achilles. Madeline Miller, yeah. Madeline Miller, I love you with my whole heart. She is a new favorite author. Because of her, I wanna read The Silence of the Girls. I wanna read A Thousand Ships. I wanna read the original, The Iliad. I wanna read like so many other Greek mythology. Electra, Ariadne, Circe. Yeah, Madeline Miller's got me down this rabbit hole and I'm joining. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it so much. Madeline Miller, new favorite author. Favorite cover that I have bought or received. I've actually been waiting for this and you would know this if you watched the video where I spoke at a climate rally. Firekeeper's daughter is so beautiful. Please. Do you, are you seeing this? This is insane. It's so good, like as a paperback girl, like. I, I love me a good paperback. Like, I love my books floppy. I love them ran through. This, she will never see a dent in her life. This book is so beautiful. The hardback girlies really got hits. I said it before and I'll say it again. Ah, oh, favorite cover. This is so beautiful. I cannot wait to read this. Newest favorite character. Wow, this is hard. I have so many. I'm looking at all my five stars right now. This is an honorable mention. I'm also going to say L and Light. I'm gonna say L and Light Yagami. Yagami? How would I ever pronounce it like that? That was so embarrassing. <laughs> Yagami? Yagami? Yagami, y'all gonna Y'all got me. Y'all got me. L and Light Yagami, another honorable mention. And I'll say these are my top two. Audrey and Mabel. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're so funny and they're so real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Patroclus. Patroclus wants me so bad, like, he wanted to be me so bad. Someone analyzed me in the comments. Because in this one, I see myself as Patroclus, and in this, I see myself as Ari. Tell me what that means. Tell me what that means. Favorite video or post you've made this year? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep it book related, so I'm not gonna mention tier ranking the TV shows I read this year, because everybody should go watch that one. It's a really good video. Mm, I Every single time, I think about this question, I still don't know. I love my Mari video, I love my Ted Jenkins Reid video, and I feel like those are the two I should pick between. Tier ranking the books I read this year is a great video, it's such a good video. If I just put every single bookish video I posted this year on screen, can that answer? The easiest answer I could say is tier ranking every single book I read this year. That's a really good video. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? I've got a whole notes app of like 50 books I still haven't read that I want to read by the end of the year. What book do I absolutely need to read? I'll give you three. I absolutely need to read The Cruel Prince, the first in the Cruel Prince series, or is it Folk of Air? I have no idea what the series is called. I wanna read The Ballad of Songbirds and Saints. I absolutely need to read The Lightning Thief. I need to read The Lightning Thief from the Percy Jackson series. I'm on page 40 something. I started it in my Mario the Night Brothers vlog and then I read a Mario the Night Brothers and forgot about it. But I, since I finished my six month project, 
I am now back to that book. The rest are videos and I can't give away video ideas because I've already been giving away all the ones I'm doing this summer. Except for one. One I have successfully kept a secret. So... <laughs> Last question, which is a very good, very cute question, to shout out your favorite book community members. My shout outs are going to Books and Lala. I have mentioned her in like 50 videos this year. I've posted like five videos this year. But I've mentioned her in like every single video I posted this year. Probably two. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, no, no. Three videos. I think I mentioned it in three videos. I want to shout out Fictional Fates. Amazing, amazing videos this year. When I think about their Alice Oseman video and the video where they read Isaac's favorites, truly no one's on their level. Like, such good videos. I think that's it. End of the tag. I completely forgot to shout out Chandler Ainsley. And Chandler has been pumping out like seven videos a week and just got married and living laughing and loving so shout out chandler thank you guys so much for watching this video it was super fun to make super fun to get to review books with you guys and talk about all the books i read and love them and hate on them and just have a good time i love you guys so much give this video a like turn on your post notifications for this channel when you subscribe i am posting way more frequently and i love you guys so much hit me up on tiktok and twitter twitter at nanaya underscore and i'll talk to you guys later subscribe i love you guys so much Bye bye. Adios. Besitos. Besitos. This is gonna be a really random Marvel movie if there's no ending clip for this video. Obviously, that's the reason I have ending clips. I love Marvel movies. I watch every single one. Haven't watched Love and Thunder yet. I will watch it. Like, why Why would I ever pronounce it like that? That was so embarrassing. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. It reminds me of the B fucking Pharrell. B fucking Pharrell. Okay.